Squarespace landing page tutorial for beginners how to create landing page on a Squarespace. Hello guys, Celia here and in this video I'm going to show you how can we use this platform called Squarespace to create our own landing page. It's pretty easy. So here we are on our main website squarespace.com let's click on get started in the right top corner if you're new to this platform you'll have to create an account you can easily create an account on squarespace with your gmail so nothing hard just simply seeing all of the platforms and here we are on the like page where we can easily choose our template we'd like to use of course we can easily create it from scratch but what is interesting about squarespace is like a constructor where we can easily rebuild uh, templates created by themselves so yeah i think it's pretty cool because we can find something suitable as for us they provide us the opportunity to use a huge number of uh, different uh, templates and let's try to find something interesting as for us of course i'm going to use it as for me but you can still find the best um, thing uh, as you need so let's try to use this template it's about like inviting to celebration for some fest or maybe concert or something like this as you can see in the top of the screen we can find a lot of uh, different topics um, templates for for example like art and design photography health and beauty personal and so on in my case it's not that important to use uh, to find the necessary topic it's more important for me to show you all the features of a squarespace and how can we use it so let's use this uh, template directly i'm going to click on preview to see how will it look like and as for me okay it's suitable it will be easy to show you all the features let's click on start with this design and in a few seconds our website will be automatically created and all we need to do we need to set up our name so let it be a landing page okay once more landing page one Let's click on continue, next, next, and get us started. So here we are in the left side, we can find a menu of how can we interact with our template. And in the right side, we have our editor. We can interact with design itself. So before um, starting, I want to change um, a little bit in the style of my template. So let's click on style, um, side styles in the right uh, top corner right up here. And we need to go to font. So I'd like to change our font pack as for this website. Let's use this one. I think it's pretty cool. And also uh, we need to change a color palette. So I'm going to open colors, edit palette. And I would like to use this one as for me, it's more suitable. And I always use this color palette if I'm going to create a Squarespace website. So after that, I would like to, uh, like interact with animation let it be fade and let's also find how will spacing look like as for us let it be like this one here so now we need to click on save and in a few seconds all the changes will be automatically added to our uh, template so yeah let's click on close okay exit and exit and here in the left side menu we can easily interact with all the pages on the website folder so as you can see we don't have any anything inside we can easily add a new pages like blank page page layout blog store portfolio events videos it depends on your choice in my case i just simply want to create one page website like to announce uh, something here and uh, on the commerce area, it's like more related with online stores. I don't think that is useful for landing page. On marketing, we can manage our CEO email campaigns and do some other stuff. On the CEO appearance, we can, uh, what is interesting is that we can optimize it for CEO. Uh, we can find the CEO checklist and also we can manage title format, site description and uh, so on. So yeah. Uh, on the scheduling, we can find some additional information of how can we schedule something or do some other stuff. And analytics helps us to analyze data about traffic, about visitors, about customers, and so on. So let's click on edit in the left top corner of the website. And here we can start interacting with our uh, design. 
So firstly, I would like to edit header and here I would like to change my site title. Let it be event uh, on the maybe 10th of September. Let it be like this. If you want to interact with the text or blocks itself, we just simply need to click. So after that, we can change the position. We can change what's inside. We can like highlight text and then just make it bold, for example, italic, underlined, change color, uh, change alignment and do something else. The same stuff we can interact with our buttons, like for example, like it bake primary. Uh, we can change something like this, uh, for example, uh, get ticket. Yeah, uh, we can add a design, do some other stuff and so on. As you can see, all the interface is quite easy to understand. We can, we have a couple of options like add block, edit section, remove it, move it down, uh, make it like uh, saved or a copy or duplicate. And let's add some sections. For example, I'd like to add this section here and let's be about people who will stay like on the event, for example, them here. And as you can see, we can uh, click on edit content, go to content, uh, edit um, photographs, edit title, like names, and the description, which is pretty cool. So for example, we can write that this artist will attend, will accept our offers and they will on our events or something like this. Uh, and yeah, uh, we can also delete this section, I guess. So we don't need it. And on the footer, we can also change something like add our social medias, for example, add our Twitter account, Instagram, maybe Facebook group, and so on. When everything is done, we can just simply click on save in the left top corner, click on exit, click on Squarespace logo, and we'll have our website on our dashboard. So now it's available on the internet, but if we'll try to find uh, like paid plans of Squarespace, uh, we can see that we have like a two plan for like common usage, personal and business. If you don't want to set up your commerce uh, store and if we'll compare, I think that business is much better than personal. It has much more features and even a little bit of a commerce setup is available on uh, on our business plan. So yeah, this is a way of how to build a landing page on Squarespace. As I already said, this platform provides us the opportunity to make it like in a 10 minutes and yeah, nothing hard. Hope this video helped you out and now you know how to create it with the help of Squarespace. If you have any questions, you can write them in the comments below. I wish you a very good day and goodbye guys. Leave a like and subscribe.